another day, another episode of Cyberpunk 2077. As you can see, our screens change a little bit again. In the last episode, we had a little bit of an investigation going on with Mr. Jefferson trying to find out who's behind his weird window glass display thing in his house and trying to get some info on him so he can't be the mayor. However, we couldn't get uh, too many details, but we see what we can do for him in this episode. I wish everybody having a wonderful day, a wonderful time, full of joy and smiles and no bad ideas. Just a beautiful toads in the head. Sweet. Now when we in, we have two points of each. Let me just have a quick look and try find out. Try find out what we're gonna do. And I think we can do meet Sergey at the desi designated location and see what Sergey is gonna. See what Sergei has to say. And we have two points in each. Um, we're doing quite a bit of crafting. So I was thinking we can do more damage from our crafted items. Hopefully we will get to this bad boy soon. And the next one we also do a lot of reflexes and handguns and assault rifle. Increased crit chance, which uh, behind the cover could be handy. This potentially could be handy. But I also noticed that there is this and that's extra 15% just for free. Just because almost everybody is human so Let's go for that one. And the main points, I'm gonna try to put them in attack because I'm using a lot of tech weapons. And it will also help us to unlock this on level 18. Sweet. And also, as some of you may remember, we got Overwatch, a sniper rifle from Panem. And I find out that there is a trick that if you click on it, to change the damage. I don't know if that's a help for anyone of you, but we're gonna go with the high damage and we're gonna upgrade it because we have a bunch of epic weapons. Epic weapons? No weapons, epic components. So let's go for it. Oh yeah. Let's have a look. What do we have now? Bam. 598. And we have Two slots which we can still use. Not lethal, don't care. We can do extra damage. Can we actually craft some of those? I think we can. Yep, we can do one extra damage. Can we do a better one? Increase the chance to apply damage related status effect. That's not greatest. And that's about it. Well, let's go with plain damage and, and put it on our sniper rifle. And, ooh. Looks like we somehow got a better one. Sweet. It's killer, killer weapon. Well, all of them are kind of killer, so to speak. I'm just trying to have a quick check if we can do a better one. Probably not. Okay, now we have this out of the way. Let's meet Sergey. Wherever he is. Shh. Hide that monstrosity. Ah, oh, there it is. So let's go ahead and meet this guy. There's no stopping for us. No streetlights gonna stop us. No, no, no. Is this too far? 
feel like it's gonna be almost easier to have a quick run than trying to get uh, a car. What's popping? Oh. Sergey? Nice of you to ask. Lately, I feel like there is a neon sign over my head that says, Sergey, who fuck with Tigger Claws? I have little present for Tigger Claws sitting in garage. How'd you piss off the Tiger Claws? Ah. Uh, was just a friendly misunderstanding. Mm, sure. This man, he look normal, beard, brown shoes, nothing, you know, breathtaking. And he also have little dog, Gospody. What kind of hitman goes around with dog? This misunderstanding involve you shooting him? It was worse, much worse. Ah, I say too much already. Don't seem so nervous for a man in your situation. Ah, uh, but you see, I'm in home stretch now. One base away from freedom. How are you so sure that the Tiger Claws will accept your present? Uh, trust me, I know. We Russians have very refined intuition about such things. And you are just delivery girl. All right, then, fling me the coordinates. Just a moment. I open door to garage, it opened from inside too, just in case. Presence the car. It's a bit more than ordinary car, but in nutshell, yes. Just drive it there and they take care of the rest. But don't mess this up, huh? I count on you. No problemo, bandido. Oh, get into the garage. Oh boy. It's a big boy. It's a big boy. And with my drowning record. Oh, it's not him. Thank God. Quick, let me out before he returns. Wait, what? Um. What? Can talk later. Can I get in the car? No. Oh. Unusual, as far as presents go. What? What did you say? You're supposed to be my present, a surprise from a certain Sergey. You're not making any sense. You know, like a pop-out cake. Except there's no cake. There's lots of blood. And you are? Alex Pushkin, Senior Assistant in Quality Assurance at Biotechnica. What's a Corpo QA doing messing with the Tiger Claws? Y you work for Tiger Claws? I, I, I told them I, I would not accept their offer. <sighs> it's complicated. Hop out or I change my mind. I, I do not know what is going on, but thank you. You will not regret this. Well, it's your lucky day, man. You got this job from Akako, yes? I will pay her. She won't lose an Eddie, and neither will you. Sure. You would be the last person to get bought by a corpo stuffed in a trunk. Oh, so I thought. You never fail to surprise me. Though I do suppose he who offers most shall get his way. Oh, I do not mean Sergei. No, sadly, he was outbid by another interested party. Who knows what will become of him now? Quid pro quo, V. Quid pro quo. Contract closed. Huh. I'm not sure if I messed up or not. 
but be ready though. Oh well. I'm sure it's gonna work out anyway. Let's go for killing in the name. I can't do that. Head over to river. Eh, I'm not feeling river. Kind of feel the psychosis. It's kind of battering me a little bit, but you know what? Let's let's go meet with Rogue. See how she's doing in the afterlife. Where's my baby? Car, please. You want your teeth broken? Yes, please. I want my teeth broken. And we rolling. We rolling, baby. We rolling, baby. We rolling in quiet mode. I don't want to. Let's get some music popping. You see me rolling, you see me hated. Don't know the words, but don't like the song. All right, very close to the afterlife. Even though we're not dead and we're not gonna be, so let's hope that uh, afterlife is not for us. See, I'm in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, ready? Rogue should be here any minute. Okay, one more time. We're just gonna talk to Rogue about Smasher, right? Then you'll hear me the real hop back in the passenger seat. That is the plan. Don't worry. I'll be gentle. You might even enjoy it. Actually, regretting this all night. Okay. I'm ready. All right. Mm. Oh boy. Look a little different. Fuss with your hair or... It's good to be back. I never knew you'd gone off somewhere. What's your poison? Tequila old fashioned. Top it up with beer and sprinkle in some chip. Silverhand special. Wow, since anyone ordered that. Mm. Oh, come on, dude. Give me another. You got it. Johnny, you're on the bed for get drunk. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Cog still churning under that skull? Alright. I have you had it, Johnny, but it's last one. What? God damn you. Cassius Raider. You mean anything to you? 
Mm hmm Tattoo guy. How do you know this? We go back. Where will I find him? We got a salon in Watson, Pershing Street. So what'll it be? Billy Goat or the other one? What? Billy Goat? Thought it over. Other one. She's gonna love it. <laughs> sure she will. What do you got? Jeremiah Grayson. I heard he's an operator for Smasher. But you didn't hear that from me. Hey, who are you again? Oh, what is... Yeah, could say we had something in common. <laughs> Ruby Collins. Sloppy second for Grayson. After I bang her. Oh, Johnny, you bastard. Trusted you, Johnny. I'm not drinking. I'm not drinking. I'll leave you to win. What? Oh, metrics. Right. I think I got something better. Hey, you Ruby? What? You've heard about me? Let's, Let's get, get out of here. here. Tell you what I heard. Then you'll show me if I'm right. Just got a little biz to take care of first. Go puking, huh? You goddamn man, I trusted you and you doing this. Everything outside the plan, huh? Craziness. Oh my lord. to talk to Grayson.
Hello, Night City. Hello or goodbye. V. <laughs> Spit blood first thing every morning. <sighs> Talk about something else, please. Sure. First time you walked up, since there was something familiar about you. Blah, blah, Johnny told you. <sighs> Feel like shit. No surprise there. Don't remember a thing, huh? Let's just say. I see some huge fucking black holes. He called me early morning. Of course, I thought it was you. And I thought, cute kid. Too bad she's gone completely whacked. <sighs> Came to see for yourself, huh? Morbid curiosity. Mm-hmm. And I found Johnny Silverhand. Feels weird, this. You knowing about Johnny? Face is changing, you know. Still look like V, but that mean smirk, I'd know it anywhere. How he talks, moves, how he smokes. <laughs> I don't smoke. I know. Could never confuse you two. So sleep soundly. Smasher, he. He tell you about him? Yes. Didn't know he'd come back to NC. Johnny found some way to get at him. Wait... Grayson? Jeremiah Grayson. Works for Smasher. Johnny got a tip off some stripper, don't ask me how. Ebonike. Just that. Still, let me see what I can do. We're gonna get that son of a bitch. Know what Smasher's been up to all this time? Disappeared after the Sokka Tower assault in 2023. All thought he was gone for good. Then suddenly reappeared. Did a few Mondo jobs for Arasaka, then went right back to ground. Nobody's seen him in years. Except Grayson, apparently. Can I help at all? In your state? <laughs> You're useless. Almost. Hollow buzz you when I learn something. Okay. Sounds good, Rogue. Unbelievable that bastard's somewhere in your head. Yep. I'm surprised. I didn't know that he's gonna actually help. It looks like he's more on a party roll. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. Never again. I had no idea the pills would lay you out like this. Maybe it wouldn't be bad if you hadn't chased them down with fuck knows what. Let's get out of here. You tricked me. Just supposed to talk to Rogue. Did talk to her. <sighs> the stripper. Empathy brawl. Tattoo. All required, man. Had to give Rogue something real, didn't I? Ebunike? A lead on Grayson supposed to be a lead on Smasher? Lead to lead? That's real? Real enough for Rogue. Quit mumble whining and let's Delta. What's the... Is the tattoo says literally just... Johnny Love We or something. Can't see it now. About now. Can't see my hand. Oh well. This place. Place where you can puke all over the carpet, no problem. Beggar, not chooser.
Hmm, okay. In that case, let's go help Panem because she's a bit more fun than you. Johnny. Oh. Open sesame. Oh, is a 5k away? Oh man. That calls for a fast trip. Which is just behind us. Because drive 5k is going to take quite some time. And we want to spare some time. If we can. So let's put there. Oh man, that's so far. Alright. Oh man, I can't believe that Johnny went to like a long route. I felt like if he tries that differently, it could be maybe a little bit faster, better. I don't know. Oh well. Now we need to live with the consequences. Let me actually have a quick look what this guy should have. Could should could have. Do you have something for this, please? Instant restore 3% health after defeating an enemy. Damage to drone mech and robots. Nee. None of them feels good. Uh, what's this one? Nee. Oh well. Oops, easy. Let's go here then. I'll see what Pandem is all about. Yeah. This time. Are they in are they here, okay? Uh we'll take that. Take that as well. V, you're here. How's it going? What is she doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? To do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. Do you think I'm... You really think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me. No point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? Get the sense this fight's grown stale. Come on, put some feeling into it. No. This discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. I thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us, and we'll say thank you and ask for more. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess, whole thing's your idea? How did you know? So I wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull, Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. This basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back. Drag me here specifically for them. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board.
What's gotten into you? Why Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations. Like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. And you guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. Remember, a while back, told me to give you a solid kick in the pants if I saw you diving in the stupid pool again. I do. Yet that was before our tandem raid on the Raffin camp. I believe you lost your opportunity there. Nope. Different that. Rescue mission. Someone from the family. No. You're out to plain trick him. If you plan to lecture me, you can damn well go right now. And you plan to grab the Basilisk Helm. Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. Okay. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else. We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the Basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Damn short, sweet, and pertinent. None of that sad sack bullshit Saul likes to tack on. Pan Am's got a beef with Saul, I know, but you guys? A few years back, nobody would have given Corporal work a second thought. We want a good name. We just need good gear and good jobs. And Saul would see that if he pulled his head out of his caboose once in a while. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's all too easy, convenient to arrange. The exact tech you need, combing your way, almost served on a silver platter. Yes, Saul also claimed it stinks to high heaven. Intel on the convoy, where'd you get it? Carol hacked the Militech comms channel. Is that enough for you? Sure. Okay, I'm in. Hmm, okay, thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Ah, uh, we'll meet you there. Yeah. Not a problem. Come on, let's go. Just because I sometimes have feeling that your car sucks and not too slow. What's happening? Okay. Where are we going? Oh. Sweet. Let's take it. E. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Let's take it on the road. And when we're gonna be very close, quite straightforward, let's go and take it over there. Oh, what did this turn?
Whoa, jump the jumps. Oh, oh. oh, looks like my doors are open. All right. What do we need to do now? Oh, we're waiting for them, huh? Uh. Come on, girl. All right, what now? Hello, V. Hey. Are we ready? Yes. Okay. Ready, the ready. The tech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Seems to be a lot of abandoned stations around. This one belonged to a corporation that ran a cement factory. They used it as their reloading point. Didn't take the train engine when they left? The engine's been here going on 40 years, since the Blackwall days. For a time, everybody had to go back to the old ways. This engine ran on nuclear, like submarines do. All the weirder they left it behind. Corpse. They probably listed it in a spreadsheet as cost optimization. It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Okay. Let's see what we can do about this whole thing. Hmm. Yeah, got strong hands. The stairs it is then. Yep. Stairs. Do you need a light? No, all good. Or do we? I've always been fond of trains. And the stations where so many tracks converge. Hmm. Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel free. Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once. More I'm trying to just have a quick good look if we can find something potentially dangerous for us. Mark, you're really leaving. I'm not sure what that is all about, but Cars, huh? Would you help me look? Sure thing. Yeah. Not a Hey. 
And what's about... What's all the way on top? Something interesting here. Hmm. Okay, it must be here somewhere. Doesn't look like anything please, here. Look thoroughly, please. I'm uh, looking for something else. So far, I haven't found anything. How about these? Not a... No. How about these? Doesn't look like a bunch of cards to me. Some sort of Stone Age control panel. Let's find the cards first. Cardboard box. Nothing here. No. How about this one? Hmm. Oh, we did find one. Oh, well, well. I got a punch card, Pan Am. I got it. Got something. Good job. Carol! We have a card! What now? You have to put it in the reader! Well, the, the card in the reader. Okay. Card in the reader going in. There's nothing. It worked. Come Oop. look. Little engine that could. How do you stop it? V, I wanted to speak with you. You're happier out here. Can smell it a mile off. Surely you joke. I'm about to put my family at risk, get a dressing down from Saul, and possibly be kicked out of the family. And you say I seem happy? Yeah, because you're doing what you think's right for the Aldecaldos. Even though it's hard. Even though you're shitting your pants. Dear God, so you can see it too. What do you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me. But... Why are you doing this? It's important to you. But is that all? I... Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Any more questions? No, I know everything I need to, I believe. Perhaps I should send Rogue flowers to thank her for introducing us. Mm, not really your style, don't think. I would add a card. Thank you for giving me a true friend, you manipulative whore. That's my girl. <laughs> all right. Let's rejoin the others. Alrighty. Ooh, looks like a train is parked. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. Good to know. I like when things go by the plan. Gonna try and make it a little bit faster, Pen M. Yeah, don't you mind? Hope you don't mind. What? Sam? Also, we, do you know where Pen M is? I'm not her babysitter. Uh, let's just. Let's go with this. Crying out loud, I don't care what's doing between you two. I'm just asking, can't give me a straight answer. When you see her, tell her I'm looking for her. 
Okay. Wait, where she is? Where she is? Oh boy. Ooh, that burned. We could still your ass down a minute, honey. Breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. You worried about Saul? No. We have quite some time left till dusk. Hmm. The car could use another one so far. All right. Nobody want to talk about so at all. Did you get the car once over? We've got a few hours till dawn. Yeah, it looks nice. Acting spooked, as if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ah, was it someone I know? New no. Scorpion. He came home from the war, head full of new ideas and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Yep, you said that. Saul was right about Snake Nation. We should remain independent. Otherwise, could end up like... Like the backers. Mm -hmm. We'll manage just fine on our own. All we need is a few good jobs. To get people talking about the Aldecaldos again. And that's why we're here today. Scorpion would be proud. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. To Scorpion. All right. I think I'll okay. try. Try and get some sleep. No? Nobody else? Okay. Venom? It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Hey, did you just doze off? Yes. Can't tell you won't be getting any sleep. Couldn't sleep if you tried, could you? I'll just lie here a while, fireside, gazing at the stars. That another area of your expertise? Got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course, that's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Yeah. You do? Oh dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, B. Good night, guys. No oh, shit. Oop. Okay, here they come. That sounds suspicious. Is everyone ready? 
Let's ride, V. Okay. I guess I uh, arrive with you this time. All right, let's roll. Why are we stopping? Are we blocking the convoy now? Or? Okay. Get her up to speed. Yeah. Are we just gonna get closer and have to like wedge the train between the convoy and us? Ah, smart. They're going faster than we thought. I don't know if we can catch them. Uncouple one of the cars. It'll speed you up. Hey, no coming in hauling. Take out that couple. Okay. I'm on it, but... We're getting close! This is so... Hey, shoot up the damn coupler! Which one? I'm confused. What do I'm shooting? Shoot at the train car coupler. Well... Oh, where did you go? Okay. Trucks are all yours, boy. Move that ass, steady boy. Let's get him. Oh, no, fuck, people. No, it's blocked. We need to move this guy over here. Hurry up. Oh my god. Just, just, just go at him, Mike. Like you've never been before. Okay. Let me just get this robot. No, 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 no. Oh, good. It healed automatically for some reason. Happy All now? Right, the train's leaving. You'd better move. I did move. Let me just pick up everything because I may gonna get some good stuff. You never know. How about you guys? Something good? No? Something half decent, please? All right, okay, let's go. Let's What did we get? Oh, what are you doing? Are you gonna break it or something? Gosh. Okay, I think now we're gonna be a big protective guys. Fuck! It worked! Of course it did! Just as I said it would. Just don't say we safe and home because we not yet. I feel troubles coming. How's it going there, V? Did you have fun? Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting with Mitch and Teddy. What is that even like? Them? Is it like a tank kind of thing? Transport? Crane, whatever that is. Yeah. 
I guess I'm gonna get myself surprised. Just lost the Militech channel. The Zoots finally realized someone was listening and changed the codes. <laughs> Perfect timing if you ask me. Well, uh, it's also a bad time. Okay. So far, nobody attacking us. Ooh. We did it. it. Wasn't that difficult. I can talk to him if he wants. No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. Um. All right. Let's go talk to him. Let's see how bad it is going to be. There he is. Exactly what you see. The Basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too! Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine! Go right ahead! In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Yeah, yeah. Bob, okay. Mitch, you All two right. take the trucks around back. Well, I really need we need there. to unload. Uh, sure, but... And what do we do with it? Oh, I've got an idea. Just build it already. Yes. Got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. Seems still to be in fine working order. Everything okay? Yes, of course. Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. Family's with you on this, I think. Sure. Where did you get that impression? All I heard was silence. Saw him looking at that basilisk. Drooling. Nomads, panzers, panzers, nomads. Had him from the start. We'll see. You need me again. All you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. Take care, Panem. Have a good day. And we will go rest. Before we do that, let me just have a quick check or with this guy. Wanna see what you got in Browse to your Just for funsies. What do you have, my good sir? Crafting things. Hmm, nothing super exciting, man. Nothing that super exciting, dude. Couple of legendaries, but they are not that great, to be honest. These kind of bitch. Oh well, I will leave you to your business, my good sir. And we're gonna go rest to... Can I click that please? Looks like we're not able to click that. Gosh darn. All right, can I borrow your car? No, I can't, okay. 
in that case, if we can't use that... Oh, there is a house. Huh. I didn't know that there is a house. Can I have a sleep there? Ah, oh, here. How do you get inside? Ah. V? Got to the bottom of Ebonica. Flicked pings Ooh. to some contacts. Grayson buzzed familiar for because a friend from the olden days. He did some digging. Found something. Section of the docks that's maelstrom turf. So why are these docks called Ebonike? Pretty sure it's got nothing to do with some long dead mayor. Dead wrong, actually. It's not the docks. It's an old container ship named after the guy. So you found Grayson? You really got an in with Smasher? Come see me. Afterlife. We'll talk. Okay. Alright, Rogue. I will like to go. Oh, we can now wonderful. But because it's quite late, we tired. We help Panem with quite some important missions. We need to go and rest. And where to rest the best? In our comfy bed. In our apartment. Because we could sleep with Judy, but Judy doesn't have a bed for two, so she doesn't want us to rest there. Even though she is kind of our girlfriend. Close the door, looks like my door's been broken. But like I said, we will rest. And we will see you in the next episode, because this one has been wrapped.